what is up will here and today we are not playing anything we are actually in roblox studio as many of you will be able to tell and that's because i'm currently working on my own roblox game and i've learned quite a few new skills and i'm thinking it might be nice to maybe share a few with you so if you do enjoy this video or find it useful in the slightest then please leave a like and maybe let me know in the comment section down below so i can make another one and maybe if you're stuck on any of this i can help you out i do have some pretty fast replies i will not lie but first things first let's make a door how about we make a red door i'd say just so it stands out a little what I like to do is I like to come into plugins, get build rig up, and get block rig. And then you can get a little dummy, which is like a human, basically. And that's the size of your avatar. So it's good for like scaling and stuff like that. And then now we've got this. And we have scaled our door. We are just going to build around it a little. Let's get some nice neon green. One of my favorite colors, I won't lie. And let's give it a little bit of like a wall. So, yeah, if you're going to put this as like a door for a bedroom or something like that, this is what you will do. You already have a room sorted. I hope. <laughs> if not, make sure to do that beforehand. Or at least get the walls sorted. It doesn't matter how thick the walls are. Just make it thick enough to the point that, like, it's not thicker. Sorry, the door's not thicker than it. Because, I, personally, I think that walls are usually thicker than doors i may be wrong there but personally i think that they are so yeah let's just get this in line then we're gonna bring it down a little scale it out And then if you want to, now it's the perfect time to be getting a nice little door knob on. So you just highlight that yellow, unless you want a different colour door knob. You get in one of these, like, what's it called? A cylinder? Yeah, a cylinder. Logic. Eh. We just need to spin it round so it's the size we want it. Then, using this part, we're going to bring it into the door. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is you're going to want to make sure collisions are off here. You know it's on because it will be greyed out like that. Which basically means you are unable to bring it through walls and stuff. Which... Could be good if you don't want to, but I recommend having it so, like, you can actually do it through walls and stuff. For now, at least, while you do this, so then you can at least get this sorted. Trust me, it does look better if you use actual wood. But, yeah. There's a little doorknob there, you can change it around if you want. Then, now, you're just going to want to get select tool and anchor everything there. Also, probably best to delete the dummy. And then, let's just use black here. Because everything here is very bright. So, having something dark will probably be the best way you to see it oh also you want to get to your door here and you want to just quickly group that so it's in there find your little doorknob 
and plop that in there as well. Make sure to rename it though, so you actually know what stuff is when you come around to actually making your game or if you have already made your game, just so like you're more organized. So like, let's say you come back another day and if you like me, you don't have a very good memory. You may not even know what it's for. So, I, so I like to name stuff accordingly. So then I don't have to remember what stuff is for. Okay, I did not do a good job at this door whatsoever. I need to resize it. Okay, so if you are unlike me and actually make the door properly, then just ignore what I'm doing now. But basically, be careful you didn't leave a gap like this. Um, okay, that should be slightly better now. And then, uh, let me just find this. Okay. Also, you want to make sure... It is even on both sides. The best way to do that is coming down here. And then like to make sure you can do that. And personally, I'd say that looks about right. So I'll just bring that up a bit. Also, you can make this as big slash small as you want it to be. It doesn't actually need to be too big or too small. But all you're going to use that for is to keep the door together. So again, if you want to rename this, some people don't actually like to rename this. Um, but I like to rename it to Invis Block. But then you just need to come here and hence the name Invis Block, you need to come to Transparency and set it to 1. Which then means it is invisible so you can't see it. And everything needs to be anchored here, except from the invisible block. So I like to anchor that, then unanchor that in particular. So now I'm going to add a click detector into here. So when you click on the door, it opens. However, that just doesn't magically happen. You need to add in here a script. Delete that, and then I will have this code in the comment section down below pinned, so it's at the top of it, and also in the description. So, shouldn't be too hard to find. Just copy and paste that into here, and then what you want to do is come here and make the primary part the invisible block. And then, you press play, you load in, you come to the door, click on it, and it opens. Okay, so guys, what I did was I put another one of those invisible blocks. I just duplicated it, used the move tool, moved it up to the top corner. So there's one here and one there. And they kind of act like hinges, which make it so when you click on it it goes into place and i don't know why but in my game whenever you guys come into it all you guys like to do is spam click it until someone gets stuck in it or it makes them fall over but yeah that concludes today's video if you found it helpful or enjoyed it in any way then please leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below if you had any problems. I can probably help you out. But again, I am very stupid. So I'm not sure there. But if you are new to the channel or haven't already. Then please, please, please subscribe. Because not all of you that watch my videos are subscribed. I'll put a percentage on the screen right now. But yeah, until next time. Bye guys.